Hello everyone, welcome back to Think Turkey and this is Moaz Huck and in today's video I'm going to talk about and explain all those questions that I've been getting about residence permit. Can we still get residence permit in Turkey? Is it still a possibility? What are the conditions? What has changed? And what are the rules and regulations right now in 2023 towards the end of 2023? What are the updated rules? Stay tuned to find out. So let me break it down for you guys as to what are the types of residence permits out there. And I'm going to make this very simple. So mainly we're going to divide this into two categories, short term residence permits and long term residence permits. These are the two main categories. Let me tell you about short term residence permits. So the most popular one is our famous TRP, the touristic residence permit which has been around before and you know it was very popular people used to come to turkey um, they used to love it here and let's say their visa was about to expire and they wanted to stay longer they would apply for a touristic residence permit and you know just with the rental agreement um, you know even sometimes with their you know short-term resident uh, short-term property for example airbnb contracts they would be able to get a touristic residence permit up to a year uh, even at points even for two years at some points so this has unfortunately been stopped uh, now so Turkey is uh, sort of uh, becoming you know uh, clamping down on that and they have stopped giving out those uh, touristic residence permits uh, anymore since almost like two years now and and over the last year it's it's gotten even more tighter I mean uh, over the last couple of years so now let's take a look at what other types of short-term residency permits are out there there is um, family so family residence permit is basically uh, if you've got like a Turkish spouse uh, who is a Turkish uh, citizen and uh, so with that uh, they can apply for their spouse for a family residence permit uh, now does it only apply to fa uh, Turkish citizens actually no for family um, there's also another way is that if you are a foreigner and you've been living here in Turkey for a year under a residence permit, a qualified residence permit, then you can apply for your family as well. So for your uh, spouse, for your children, for your immediate family, and in some cases, uh, second degree family as well, parents, for example, or uh, you know, in, uh, in-laws, spouses, parents, those type of things are, are looked at. Even sometimes children above 18, uh, who are uh, you know uh, older th they you can also apply for them again those are you know based case by case basis so that takes out the family so now um, next is is next one is the uh, business uh, you know residence permit so the business residence permit is basically again if you're coming for business exploration uh, here in Turkey so you would need to come in on a business visit visa first of all uh, and then once you're here on that, then you could apply for a uh, business residence permit short term again. This is not very popular, um, but it is in some cases uh, it's been used by those who are coming in on business trips and would like to stay for longer periods, let's say more than the 30 days or 90 days. Um, and they would like to do further in-depth research, then they can apply for a longer uh, residence permit. So the last short-term type of residence permit is through real estate through buying property and this is the most reliable uh, and uh, the most let's say guaranteed way of you know getting your your stay here in Turkey and also for your um, you know future for it to count as your citizenship application after five years as well if you're if you're thinking of going for that so uh, this has obviously you know conditions uh, that you need to abide by when it comes to um, you know so now let me tell you about the final short-term residence permit option which is buying property through buying real estate this is the most reliable uh, way of basically getting your uh, your residence permit um, and also this would count towards the five years uh, citizenship requirements uh, that is needed uh, to fulfill so what are the conditions that are, you know how do you actually make sure that you get uh, the you know the, the residence permit through property um, let me tell you what the conditions are so basically 
you need to fulfill the monetary value, basically the minimum value for buying property in the major cities is 75K uh, US dollars, basically 75,000. And uh, in the smaller cities is, is 50K, 50,000 US dollars. But again, most of the, um, of the larger cities uh, that you would be looking to live in, like Istanbul, uh, Antalya, Bursa, Ankara, you know, Mersin, like any of the larger cities that you're thinking of, they will all require a minimum 75K investment. Um, now, 75K, can that get me a pretty decent property or not? That's going to be the next question. Um, not really, no. 75K, those days are pretty much long gone. Um, you're looking at a minimum of 125,000 US dollars in order to get a decent, uh, you know, property. In, in Turkey these days, in a large city, and um, and basically, you, you know, 50k is is not even enough to as well for smaller cities. You're looking at more like 80, 85, 90. I would say even to be 100k to be on the safe side for the smaller cities itself. Now let's talk about student residence permits. So. Student is pretty self-explanatory. At the same time, I want to just warn you that back in the days, for example, you could just apply for a you know Turkish language school and you know be able to get that uh, student visa and student residence permit. Those days are over. You do need to enroll in a proper university program, like which is a bachelor's degree, master's, PhD level programs, in order to to qualify for that student residence permit. Um, but once you, if you do qualify, of course, then you get, that's totally fine. You're valid and you can apply for that permit. Other than that, there is also the work permit option, which is, does not fall into a short term or long term. This is a completely separate area. But what a work permit is basically is that, uh, you know, there's a lot of mis, you know, communication or uh, confusion around what work permit means. So a work permit is, is not like, hey, let me, let me just get a work permit and then I can come and look for jobs and work in Turkey. That's not how it works. A work permit is the company basically that you apply for a job. They hire you, they call you, they interview, they hire you, they bring you in and they would apply for a work permit for you on your behalf. So they would be covering all of that expenses and, and everything in most cases, right? That's how it works. Um, so your your target, if you're looking to get a work permit, is not to, you know, try to find out from the ministry how to get that. No, your job is to basically find a company willing to hire you for your skills. Once they hire you, they will their HR department will figure out how to get your work permit. Obviously, you need to ask that in the interview as well. Are you going to be providing me with a work permit um, because I need a way to live in the country? You know, I need legal status in the country. So is that part of the deal? So uh, they will say yes or no. And that's it for work permit, basically. Let me now shortly tell you about the long term. What is a long term residence permit? I mean, does that, you know, is that like a special card or what kind of permit is that? So basically what that is, is that if you've lived in Turkey for eight years with a proper residence permit, and I'm not talking about like a touristic one, I'm talking about like, you know, one of the valid ones, whether it's a work permit, whether it's a, uh, you know, a family uh, permit or if it's a uh, property residence permit, then after eight years, you would be qualified for applying for a long-term residence permit. Now, this is, this gives you the, uh, the conditions to basically be a citizen, almost like treat you like a citizen, basically. You have all rights as a citizen except for, you know, voting and uh, military service and those special, like, you know, extra clauses. But other than that, you're pretty much like, you're like considered as a citizen in that regard. Now that requires obviously eight years. So why would you do that and not just apply for citizenship after living five years here? So again, some people might choose to not become citizens of Turkey, but still have, you know, they loved living in Turkey. They've been, they enjoy staying here. Uh, they just don't want to give up their citizenship. So, uh, or they may, their country may not allow them for dual citizenship as well. So they may not want to consider uh, you know, losing their own uh, passport. So in this case, they could just get a long-term residence permit and still have enjoy the privileges here uh, of living in Turkey and, and, and enjoy all the citizenship rights, uh, you know, apart from a couple, uh, you know, few exceptions and, and still have their own passports as well along with that.
Thanks for watching part one. To learn more, check out part two where I talk more on this topic.